So what do you get when you get something that's been well thought out that is compact, but has the feel and effectiveness of a full size blade? Well, when you combine those things, you get the Disciple from ShivWorks. We're gonna be taking an up close look at it. Stick around. I really appreciate you stopping in, my friend, and I hope you find this video helpful and resourceful. Let's get rocking and rolling. This blade is obviously not a new release. It's very well known uh, by many of you. Many of you have carried this blade for years. I'm sure you're already a big fan of it. Sometimes people will watch videos on YouTube just to find out what somebody else is saying about the products they already love. And what I've been doing this year is making my transition over to ShivWorks blades for my everyday carry because what I have discovered with ShivWorks is knives that make sense for everyday carry in different situations in different times. You know, I've done the review on the clinch pick. I'm a massive fan of it. I've got the 2.0 and the 2.0 black double edge. Carry these blades almost daily. I've got the El Nino push knife with the Omni sheath, which is very easy to carry, especially with, with things where there's no belt. There's just a lot of different reasons why we carry certain things, but the Disciple is the original ShivWorks blade. And as I said before, it's got the feel of a full size blade, but it is still very practical to carry, which in my opinion is one of the first things that you've got to look at with regards to knives that you're considering purchasing. The Disciple is considered by many a knife with the best in-hand feel from ShivWorks. And here you go, the Disciple, a well-designed reverse edge machine. To me, this is obviously a EDC self-defense blade, but this can absolutely be used as a utility day-to-day -day work knife. This can be carried discreetly under the clothing or attached to a belt carrier for professional day-to-day -day use. One of the things that makes this so special is its handle. It's got an excellent feel in the hand. If you've got a large hand, you're still gonna enjoy the feel of this handle. A lot of everyday carry defense blades that are compact do have small handles, but the Disciple has taken care of that issue. Another great thing about this is it's going to be a hard hitting legal concealed carry blade. This is a 3.25 inch blade with a 4.25 inch handle. 12C27 steel with a textured G10 handle. Here's the sheath with extremely tight lock-in retention. Before we get into some of the practical uses and carry options for the Disciple, I also wanted to show you the trainer. I have the trainer for this blade as well because if you're going to carry reverse edge, and especially if you're new to reverse edge, training is very important. The reverse edge is primarily a point-driven system, and one of the advantages to that right off the bat is being point driven comes very natural to us. Not only can we be point driven with the reverse edge, we have the ability to cut or pull anything in our line of attack. One of the things you'll discover if you ever train or grapple with someone in a training knife is a lot of these movements are going to be very natural to you, especially when you get tied up with an individual, even in ambush or counter ambush situations. But before we go any further into that, I wanna show you a couple of carry options that you have with your disciple. Because I was unsure at first what would be the most effective way to carry this, but I started looking into a few things. I discovered that a lot of people, when they're mounting this on equipment, like to fix it in a way that they can just pull the blade straight down. But I was watching a video from Warrior Poet Society where Craig Douglas was a guest on the show, and I was able to zoom in and see how he was carrying his disciple. And here's what you got. I'm right-handed, so here's how we're gonna do this. He had it down, kind of tucked behind the garment with the strap coming around the belt back up to the knife here. I'm gonna put this up close so you can see it. Okay, so there it is. Uh, the sheath and the knife are tucked into the pants this way, whether you're left or right-handed, and the loop comes underneath and straps this way. So I can just put it just like that. And it feels very comfortable whether I'm bending down or lifting up my leg, easy access as well. And as I mentioned before, some people will hang it this way and just pull it straight down. Some people will mount it to gear that way. There's a lot of ways that you can probably finagle this, but what I wanted to show you was the way I saw Craig carrying it. And I do believe that is the most ideal way. It's the most comfortable way. Now those are your carry options with a belt, but thankfully you're not limited to just belt carry. If you're in a situation where you're not wearing a belt, 
You can purchase the Discrete Carry Concept Mod 4 clip to wear with anything where you're not wearing a belt. They actually sell this accessory on their site. Comes in handy if you're wearing like athletic shorts, scrubs, yoga pants, whatever it is you wear without a belt. It makes it convenient for you to carry this awesome blade around with you. At this time, I'm gonna share a video that I recorded a couple of weeks ago when I was doing some training with this blade. And I'm gonna be talking about some of the strategies and practical uses of this knife. <laughs> You can also reach in and grab this way instead of grabbing this way. And this will give you the ability to do jabs. The thing that's so effective about the reverse edge and being point driven is you're able to pierce and pull and you're pulling with very strong muscles. So you've got the ability to tear a lot in that pathway. You can even do power assisting where you're here pulling. With reverse edge, you can pierce with the side thrust, but there's always a pull from each side, you can strike, pierce, and pull, just like this. And it's the same with the other side thrust. You can stop here, you can come into the vital and pull. Come here and pull. And it can be the same from this position. And don't forget as well, if you're entangled with someone and you've got their leg pulled up, it's so much easier with reverse edge to get underneath. And it's the same with hooking underneath those key ligaments on the arm. As cringy as it may be, this is also set up perfectly for growing attacks. So you're stopping the attacker coming into the growing and pulling up. <laughs> the sky is the limit with reverse edge. Not only is it a very effective point driven system, but it just gives you endless options in maneuvering, manipulating, ripping, pulling, all that stuff and you're using some of your strongest muscles to do it. When you're training to learn how to defend yourself with a knife, understand that there are certain parts of the body that will give you a shock response. And what I mean by that is, is there are certain knife attacks where the body will give way immediately. But also keep in mind that there's times when you may slice effective areas or effective tendons and there might not be an immediate shock response from the individual. In the martial arts world, we'll sometimes demonstrate one or two really effective attacks. But always remember that you need to keep attacking until you're free, until you're safe. Something especially important to train all the time is weapon deployment. Now there's a lot of different ways this can be done, but it's gotta be done quickly and you gotta be able to do it without a whole lot of motor skills. You gotta be able to do it in a moment. Now you may be in a situation where you're having to push back or hold back an attacker. Well, from here, it's a little bit easier. You can turn your body and pull the weapon, but you may not be in a situation where you quite have to hold off the attacker yet. And the thing you wanna do is clear the garment diagonally. You pull it diagonally all in one motion and then pull your weapon. It can be done this quickly. The Disciple is one of those blades that I believe you can trust your life with if you're willing to train with it because it's compact, it's easy to take with you. It's one of those blades you won't hesitate to carry around, but if you're well trained with it, you could do a lot of damage with it in a time of need. I know a lot of people who carry more than one blade and I think a great EDC combination could be your Disciple as your main blade and maybe your Clinch Pick or El Nino as a backup. So I'll end this video with a question. Do you carry the Disciple? What has your experience been? What do you think about the ShivWorks Disciple? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.